Uh, good morning everyone. Good morning. Um, beautiful morning on the Finca. Um, the icy wind um, has left us although it's forecast to be here and even stronger tomorrow yes. um, but at the moment it's not too bad it's lovely the sunshine and it's nice and warm even though we're still wrapped up. Um, we had a look at the flu the other day in the apartment upstairs and it was pretty getting blocked up with um, soot and stuff and um, we think that the wood we've been burning that almond isn't quite seasoned enough even though it's been, it's been sat out here for over a year and it was half dead when it was cut off the trees anyway um, so we've we've ordered one of those chimney sweep logs um, we have used them before yeah <laughs> um, like, to see if we can like a firebomb thing I think they call them yeah and yeah. it's supposed to clear the thing so we're going to give that a try we'll show you in a bit obviously um, so Sharon's going to nip into town. I am. I'm going to nip into town and collect that from the uh, Amazon locker. And um, whilst I'm there, I'm going to have a look in the Chinese bazaar because they sell everything, fantastic places, <laughs> um, to see if we can get some um, baskets, is perhaps not the right word, um, but that we can slide into the kitchen unit yeah. that Andy's If you made. remember we said we were going um, to build a stack instead of drawers. Yeah, to so pick, put some put, shelves in, in and slide these baskety type things, um, you know, <coughs> to keep cutlery, tea towels, things like that. Um, so I'm going to have a look what they've got, if anything's suitable, um, because before <coughs> Andy puts the shelves in we need to know how big these things <laughs> exactly. are. Before we make so, them, yeah, because we've got to fit yeah. that bottle in there as well and stuff. Okay. And um, Sharon's going back to the UK on Wednesday for I a am, few Mum's days. Birthday. Mum's birthday. Mum's hmm. um, birthday. So I'm gonna. I wanna. Uh, we need a few bits to fit in for the sink. Um, we need a hob, so we need to we pick do. one. So um, we're gonna make. We're making. We'll try and get the sink in place. At least figure out what we need for the waste for that. The tap connectors. We haven't got any taps yet. No. Nope. Have we? No. We've got so, to choose some taps. So on Wednesday, when I take Sharon to the airport, it's perfect because we go right past um, all the places that sell all the stuff and uh, so we're going to get, get a big list together and yeah. then go and hit that at the same time as well, kill two birds with one storm. Yeah. Um, anything else we've got to do today? Or oh, usual chopping up wood? Um, yes. That's what we seem to do these days. If I can, I really want to start on the pointing over the railway sleeper and fill in some of those holes. Um, the what the big one in the wall where I've whitewashed around it. It really bugs me. I sit there at night and that. So I'll, yeah. So if I get a chance, depending how I, I don't want to go into town until two o'clock ish because Saturday is market day. Um, and I've got enough socks at the minute. There's nowhere to park. Um, <laughs> Give it over. So I'm going to wait until this afternoon. We've got a a, a, a stray cat yeah. here that comes and. Um, for food, I think. They all kind of tolerate it a bit. Um, Cassie look, likes to chase it and play with it. <laughs> but Tabby, that's what they, they, they can hear them. She's hissing at it and screeching at it. She's not happy. She's, she's not comfortable not, with it because yeah. she's fat and she loves the food. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> we digress. Uh, yeah, so um, that's it for today, I think. Yeah. We're cracking on with the kitchen. Yeah, we're going to keep cracking on. So let's Quick. crack on. Don't know if you remember our onions, um, we planted, sold, and they didn't come up, we thought it was too cold, so we sold some more, and we kept them up in the apartment at night and bring them out into the sun in the day. We've got loads, fantastic. Right, so we're back upstairs. Um, this is our flu. Luckily, when it was designed, it pulls away dead easily, and um, we're gonna get access to it from both in here and the bend that goes to the bedroom from outside as well, um, not a problem. So, um, yeah, but it's got a lot, a lot of soot in it. I'll see if I can show you. There you go, if you can make that out. Um, that's only been about, I don't know, five, six weeks. Um, so yeah, not good. At least we can easily clean it out though. So as we said before, we've ordered, they call them chimney sweep logs. Um, we haven't used one before in our previous place because that gets the same. I think it's just a wood. Um, we can't blame anyone but ourselves for this because it's our own wood. We cut it and um, it's been drying for a year out in the 40 degrees. I'm thinking maybe I should have logged it as I was told um, when it was still greenish and cut it into shorter sections. Perhaps would have dried out a bit quicker. Um, 
So we'll try this log, you live and learn, it's not a massive issue, it just takes a bit of time and we don't have a lot of, but um, hey ho, and so we'll, we'll report back later when Sharon goes to pick the log up. Right, so back to the task in hand, um, tiles, worktop, kitchen. Um, we've decided, or Sharon has decided, <laughs> that we're, she wants all tiles all the way along. I don't disagree, you know, it's going to look pretty nice and rather than having a, we originally said that we're going to put a stainless steel um, splash back there, um, but we decided we're going to go for tiles and we only ordered enough to kind of finish, so we may need another box, so I'm going to measure them up now, see how many we've got and um, order up if there's a shortfall. So um, we're 13 tiles short, um, which is a bit of a bummer isn't it? So I'm going to go get those ordered now and then we'll carry on with this. Okay so the tiles are ordered, uh, I've just been reading about these chimney sweep logs, apparently they don't clean the chimney, they just loosen the stuff so you can get it out easily. Um, so we're going to invest in some chimney sweep brushes and um, do it manually that way, luckily so it's easy access and then try and burn cleaner wood in future. Anyway now I want to try and get this sink hole cut out um, so I can work out what I need to connect up the waste um, so I can get that all ordered so it's sat there waiting for me when I take Sharon to the airport on Wednesday. Um, normally you get a template when you get a new sink but obviously this one was that cheap um, didn't get one so I'm going to have to figure it out manually um, right, I did find some instructions, but still no template. Um, but essentially what we need to do is put the sink exactly where we want it, which is there. Draw around it, ish, and then cut the hole 10 millimeters um, inside our line with the jigsaw. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll get it marked up. I'm in the awkward space today. Um... I want to get this filled in that Andy had to chip off yesterday to fit the cupboard in and that hole there. Um, so first thing to do is to hoover it all out, make sure there's no dust in there, wet it and then just slap the mortar on. Okay, let's get on with it. So we can see that I've got my line there. Um, what I need to do now, if you can see the line, I keep losing it, is um, draw another one 10 millimeters inside it, and that's going to be my cutting line. So I've marked it, I'm just going to use my spirit level now to join the dots together. I'm going to try. Just like that. All the way around. Then when we've done that, we need to start a hole for our jiggy saw. So I'm just going to, it's a 10mm drill bit, I'm just going to shove it through there. like that. I do so I should fit through there. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> oh yes. Right so now all we do is um, cut down and follow the line. Oh I need to plug it into my, my new socket. It's over here. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, nice and steady. Just like that, I'll carry on and get it all cut out. So I'm coming near the end, um, I've just clamped it because I don't want it to drop 
um, when I get to the end. When I get right up to here, before I do the last run, I'll put another clamp on here just to hold it where I want it. Um, so we'll carry on. So there we go, it's all cut out. Um, let's see what we've got. Take that one off first. And then this one. Oh, there. All collapsed. There it is. I'll make that into a, a chopping board. So there we go, it's in, it fits, lovely. I'm not going to fix it in place yet um, because I want to clean up around here. I've got some other bits I need to do, but I just want to work out. I'm going to drop the plug hole trap and that in. And, um, well, trap, I need to buy a trap. Drop all the bits in and then see what I need to get and get that ordered again, like I said before, so it's sat there waiting for me on Wednesday. Better to be prepared, eh, as they say. I'm um, sure what's next then. Yeah, put the fit the pluggy holy thing. Meanwhile, the wall's coming along. Um, the hole's done. So obviously once it's dry, it'll be whitewashed, lime washed, and you won't tell. You won't be able to tell. So yeah, happy days. So our plug goes in. That way, I guess. He goes in there. Yeah, like that. He goes underneath, the washer goes in there, and then you just put a screw to it, this one, to lock it all together. It says. Right, eventually. Um, right, so this in, I'll show you. So that's in. Um, underneath we've got, um, it's a bit dark under here, isn't it? Um, we've got our bit, This I guess the overflow comes down into here. And that's all making sense now. And then the trap will go on this bit at the bottom here. Um, so now I can work out, because I've got to join up to that pipe with the rag in it at the end over there. Um, so at least I can work that out now. Right, so the waste goes like that um, and then the trap goes on the bottom here. And um, so I need to just work out now what I need to get from there over to my waist over there and then measure my tap connectors from my two taps there that go up to that hole at the back where the tap's gonna come through. Um, wonderful, and we need a tap as well Hey, voila, it's done. I'm going to move on now to fill in a few bits around the ceiling that Andy had to chip away to get the boards in. Okay, so I've worked out all my bits. I've got a big long list. I've even got things like magnet catches on it for the doors. Um, Sharon's going to pop in. We'll have a spot of lunch. Then Sharon's going to pop into town and see if we can find some... Um, so they're going to slide down here, there's going to be like three or four there. Um, I can't do anything more on this yet until we've got them because I don't know what size they're going to be or anything. Um, yeah, there's not a lot more I can do until we've got that figured out because that will lead into the doors and stuff. Um, I might have a look at making a wine rack for down this little hole under the fridge here. It's a very interesting quest. So, a bespoke wine rack. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this piece, I've marked it on the back, I'm going to cut it down to size, um, then I'm going to get a big hole cutter, this is just my plan, cut holes in it for the, the bottles, the bottles are going to be on an angle, I just need to determine what that angle is going to need to be to be optimum with it touching the cork and all that. Um, then I'm going to cut it that way, so I'll just leave me with dishy things for the bottles to stand in. I'll put a stop across the back to stop them sliding backwards so they're, they're at the right angle where we want them. And um, so yeah, first thing I reckon I'm just gonna cut this, cut this to length and then um, we'll, we'll try and work out some bottle things. 
So I've got my piece cut and in. Um, all I need to do now is mark out the height, work out that because I've got a nice bowl of a 2015 Criantha Rioja. Um, I want them lying down but obviously we don't want the corks to dry out. Um, so I need to work out the angle that that needs to be. Um, and then cut my holes at the appropriate height, I think. So I've worked out the height for the bottom of my holes. Um, so I need, I'm going to cut them accordingly now, I think. Um, I always work out all right. Never done this before. Um, we'll just make it up as we go along. So I think I'm going to use a 90 mil hole and um, see how many we can get and try and space them out nicer so we get nice curves. So what I've done, I've um, marked five, it's going to be a five bottle wine rack, marked five centres, um, hopefully precision marked and, and now that will guide me hole cutter so I get those in exactly the right place because I'm going to drill them through on the, on the post drill, on the pillar drill in the workshop. So um, I'll go and drill them out and um, cut the holes and see what we got. Alright, so best laid plans. Um, I ended up doing four um, because five they would have overlapped and these would have been really pointy, the peaks. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that actually. <laughs> I think it looks alright. Um, the bits I've cut off this other half, I'm going to glue that to the bottom um, in a, the appropriate location to stop the bottles from sliding back too far. Um, so Sharon's just gone for him to get my bottle back because I put it away and um, we'll see what we can do with it. So we've just been out taking the dogs for a walk. Absolutely, the heavens opened and it's blowing a right gale. Not even forecast to rain today at all. They said it might be windy later. Well, absolutely like drowned rats, damp. But anyway, so this is a mint mock-up of um, what's going to go at the bottom to carry me wine. It's at a nice angle, the cork's wet. Yeah. and uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue it together now, this bit in particular, that's alright, the front will fix in last, measure the distance and then once this is set, get that back inside the cupboard because that's the front of the cupboard, that's the back of the cupboard and then they'll just sit there like that, four lovely bottles of wine, not that we drink that many at any time, but the option's there, it's not for long term storage of them, um, the temperature varies that much in here, it's not a good place to store wine to be honest, downstairs is much better. And, um, but yeah, so I'll get this knocked up and then we'll um, see if we can get it in place. Right, it's all clamped together. <laughs> you can't have too many clamps, you know. Um, we'll let that dry now and then I can fix it in the cupboard. Um, yeah, nothing more I can do for a moment. Well. We're slowly drying out a bit. <laughs> just about to light the fire. Oh, poor babies! They would yeah. don't know that you've already told them we would. I said we got caught in it, but yeah, they hate it, don't they? They hate it. Absolutely hate the rain. So that was it. Bear just sat down. And he wasn't for moving. So <laughs> we were quite glad, obviously, because we were getting wet as well. We came back, but poor babies missed their walk tonight. Well, they had so. a small one. They had a small one. Yeah, but. Um, uh, so you're back from the... Oh yeah, the I managed needs. to get, they only had two and I asked the lady if she'd got any more and she said no. Um, so... They're alright though, we're going to yeah. put them down, build a shelf now so they can slide in there. Slide in. Probably have a door on it as well, but yeah, the... somewhere to keep a bit of stuff. Alright. And then we're so going to have a... Cutlery tray. A little cutlery tray on the top as well maybe. Yeah. So at least I know why we need to make it yes. now. Yeah. And uh, we've got our chimney sweep log, which we're not making too much space in. Um, we're <laughs> going to get some brushes. Yeah, um, we're going to try it, but um, we've got order a brush as well. We're going to try it, and we're going to light the fire out because it's cold. Um, so yes, it's our day off tomorrow as well. It is. Um, so yeah, that's all done um, for a day or so. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. The wine rack, you'll have to wait until it'll be Tuesday now to see that because it's still setting. I don't want to mess with it while it's still wet. But there's the front. Um, so thanks so much for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure we just said that. Um, if you have and you've not subscribed already, please consider doing so. And the little button down below. And uh, thank you as always to all the people that supported the channel. And anything we need? 
No. No, I don't think so. We'll, we'll see, see you on Tuesday. Tuesday.